Hey boys and girls, today's lesson will cover course C, lesson six, collecting treasure with Laurel. So today we're going to be talking about the collector. And Laurel is the collector. She's going to be looking for gems to pick up. So the challenge is to add a new command called collect. And I'll show you in the next puzzle. When you click on the first one, there is a video for you to watch. When you're done, um, click continue. I'm going to go right into puzzle two. In this puzzle, actually in all of these puzzles, please make sure that you're following the instructions because there are some some goals that are different from the other. So right here, you would see one, two, three, four gems. But in the goal, it's only asking you to find one gem. Okay. And once you find the one gem, you could pretty much complete, click the word finish to complete the puzzle. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, of course, go ahead and pick up all four. So um, I'm going to show you how to use the repeat block. Uh, I mean, the collect block in this case. So here's Laurel. If she moves forward and she's on top of the gem, she has to click collect. Click one, click forward, and you see you reach the goal. And the only way to move on is to click finish. If, um, I could always reset it and try and challenge myself and pick up the other four. In this case, I want to move on to four. You can do puzzle three on your own. Now in puzzle four, we're having a little discussion about sequence and sequencing is very important because the order of where the steps are to collect the gem is very important. And the other thing to point out is these are stone blocks. Stone blocks can't be thrown away. They're always here, okay? Now here is Laurel. She needs to, well, first you can pause and think and then come back. She can move forward, I think. Move forward, one, two, and then turn left. Move forward, and then collect the gem, okay? If you're not sure, if you want to try step by step, you can always put a block at a time and see what direction she's going using the step button. I'm gonna click right. <laughs> Move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, collect. Awesome, good job. You're gonna try number five on your own. And in number five, there are blocks already, and this is to pay attention to sequencing. I'm gonna move over to puzzle seven. Puzzle six and seven are both about debugging. So. Uh, we're going to be using the step button to help us debug our problem. So first I'm going to reset. I'm going to use the step button to help us. Step. Move forward. Turn right. Now she's facing me and not the gem. So I'm going to switch right to left. And I want to point out another thing. Right next to the step button is the goal. So right here is at zero out of three, which means that she hasn't collected any gems yet. She needs to collect three out of three in order to complete this puzzle. I'm going to click reset, move forward, turn left, move forward, collect, good, turn left. Hmm, that's not the direction I want her to turn, so I'm going to change the left change it to right, click reset. I'm going to use the step button to help me debug again. Move forward, turn left, move forward, collect, turn right, move forward, collect. Oh no, there's nothing for her to collect. And I realize that she's not even facing the correct direction. So I'm going to separate these blocks. She needs to turn left. And after she turns left, she needs to move forward. Now I'm gonna detach this last one. I'm gonna pull up the move forward and put it under turn left. Reconnect the blocks. I'm gonna click reset and do the step one more time. I'm gonna watch the, the highlighted blocks or commands to see which step 
is incorrect. So far, we're doing pretty good. Turn left, move forward, collect. And the next two blocks I see is move forward and collect. Well, right here where she's standing, I know if she moves forward, she's going to run into the wall. So she probably should turn right. So you see how my blocks aren't moving? Now this happens because um, you need to reset the puzzle. This allows you to drag the blocks out. And then I'm going to reattach my move forward and collect. I'm going to run and see what happens. Debugging can be a long and tiring process, but I want you to be patient and I want you to take it one step at a time. Good job. Thanks for helping me complete this challenge. So why didn't I pass this? Why didn't I win? Well, it looks like if I look up here, the issue that I ran into is I use too, too many blocks. I'm only allowed to use 11. And right here, it says 13. Now I'm going to reset the puzzle. I'm going to look at my block of codes to see, did anything repeat itself? Because a repeat blocks would help I'm looking over my code, I'm thinking it might be a repeat, but I'm looking to see if there's patterns and I'm noticing I don't see any patterns here where, but I do notice something. When she is collecting the gem, I have her do an extra step of moving to the right of this gem. Now, if I have her just move forward, then collect these gems, that might save me a block or two. So where can I change that? I'm going to change it uh, right here. Uh, turn right. Move forward. Let's see if this works. Click right. Ah, so I forgot for her to move forward first. So collect, move forward, then turn right. So reset. Move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward. Okay, so I don't need this move, for, move right block. And this is all part of the process of debugging. Now I can click finish. Thanks for doing the challenge with me. Click continue. Okay, now we're going to look at puzzle eight. Click I'm ready. It's another challenge puzzle. Okay, here is Laurel and her goal is to pick up all five gems. So let's click run and see what happens. Move forward, move forward. Ah, she's walking over the gems. All right. And from the experience of our last puzzle, we know that there are a limited amount of blocks for us to use. So I might consider using a repeat block, especially because I see three gems uh, in a row that Laurel needs to collect. So I'm gonna move this down. These are all stone blocks, so I know I need to use them. I'm gonna put the repeat there. I'm going to pick from this stone block. I know I need to move forward one, two, three, and move forward three times. And as she's moving forward, I need her to pick up a gem. So let's try this first. Move on, two, three. So far, so good. Now, she's not facing the right direction, so I need to use a turn block, which I'm going to attach to the outside of the repeat because this is something I don't want repeated and have her turn right. And now she's gonna move forward, one, two. I'm gonna use, I could use a repeat block and say repeat and move two spaces, or I could use two repeat blocks, that's up to you. And then after she walks forward two times, she's going to collect this gem and she's gonna walk forward two more times. And looking at the amount of blocks I have here, I'm going to actually use these two stone blocks, move forward. 
and she's going to once she moves forward i want her to turn left move forward and then collect her gem okay let's test it out repeat move forward collect turn right move forward awesome so boys and girls, you can try to do this puzzle on your own. You can look at my solution. You could come up with your own solution. Click finish when you're done. Click continue. The rest of the puzzles, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are very simple. Okay, using the strategies and, and uh, steps that you've learned earlier. Try that and apply it to these next three puzzles. The last puzzle is puzzle 13. I want to remind everyone, don't get frustrated here. Your goal, make sure you read your goal in the last puzzle is, of course, just to pick up one. But always challenge yourself and see us how if you can get as many pieces or all of the gems that you can. All right. Happy coding.